All right, welcome to this video. In the last video, we talked about determining the strength of an electric field, the magnitude, right? And we talked about that as you get closer to a charge, the field kind of spikes up if it's a point charge, right? The field will get much stronger as you, as you approach it. But now I want to talk about a qualitative way to determine the strength of a field. So uh, this, is a, this is getting into the calculations a little bit here. But how do you know by looking at a charge the strength of a field? How do you represent that? So I have two charges here. Basically, I have a charge that's plus Q. And I have a charge here that's plus 2Q. In other words, this charge here is twice the strength of this charge here on the left. Okay, And so the way that we represent uh, that a field that a charge is stronger is we re basically we represent twice the number of field lines around it so if you take a look over here this particular charge has eight field lines right we have one two three four five six seven eight they're all at 45 degree angles I basically I'm showing that the field is moving away from this charge and this field over this charge over here show is 2q and it shows a field that's twice as strong as the one on the left so this field, if, if, you, if we've shown eight field lines here, if this one is twice as strong, we're going to show 16 field lines here. So that's one way to show the strength of a field qualitatively. In other words, if I just look at a charge and I want to know the strength of a field, there's twice as many field lines coming out of this one. Okay, So that's one way to do that. But how do we know the strength of a field at a given region of space? Well, what we can do is we can define a circle and it, to, to show a region of space and we can kind of move that circle around and the number of field lines that appears in that circle can determine the strength of the field so right now I have one field line in that in that circle right as I move that down now there's two field lines right so the field is stronger here than it was here right there's one field line here stronger here now there's three field lines right actually there's four there's five right so if, in other words if I move this here I go one two three four field lines the field is much stronger here, right? If I move this over, I can actually get a point where I have eight field lines in the circle. So this field right here is eight times as strong as it was here there's when there's just one field line, right? Okay. So you can see as I move this circle over here, in this region of space, there's you know there's twice as many field lines. This field is going to be much stronger, right? So this is three field lines in a circle. Here's four field lines in a circle. Right? And I can get to the point to where I get 16 field lines in the circle. So this, this is a qualitative way that you can determine the strength of a field. Right? I just move this circle around. Whatever's in that little view field, that's the strength. So there's one, there's one here. There's two here. There's three here. There's four here Right in the circle. That's just a way to determine the strength of the field. So again, to just, just to summarize, the first way is to draw the field lines. If the field, if the charge is twice as much, you draw twice as many field lines, right? And then the, the other way is to draw this little circle and move it around and to see how many field lines are in that circle. So if I got two here, it's twice as many as there were here, right? So that's how we're going to qualitatively determine the strength of a field. Qualitatively, qualitatively means basically I'm just looking at it and I'm basically trying to get an estimate uh, of, of how strong the field is, right? Uh, I'm not getting an actual number. I'm not getting a calculation by calculating the strength of the field. But very quickly, I can look at something and I can tell basically how strong the field is at, at any given point. Notice as you get further away, that these lines are spreading further and further apart. So the field is getting much weaker Okay, as we get further away. So we know that, that the field of a point charge is going to drop off very quickly as we move away. Okay, So that's a very important point. All right, now the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to determine the strength of an electric field as a function of radius, radius, and that's qualitatively. Now, as you move away from the charge, the field is becoming weaker, right? And we saw this up here, like, okay, so we saw that as I move away from the field, as I move away from the charge, the field is becoming weaker into here, right? We know that, right? So how do you represent that from a function of the field lines? Well. Before when I showed the field lines here, I just showed them going straight out. I didn't show them varying, right? But this is a vector. So the, the proper way to show that, if you're moving away from a field, you should show that basically the field lines are very strong in the beginning, and then as you move away, they're getting weaker and weaker. Okay, so this is a vector, 
And we know that this vector is a function of 1 over r squared, right? So the field is a function of 1 over r squared. So we know that as we move away from that charge, that the arrows are actually getting smaller and smaller and smaller, the strength or the magnitude of those arrows, because it's getting weaker and weaker. So e is a function of 1 over r squared. We know that as we get close to this charge, the field is increasing and it's spiking up as a function of 1 over r squared. And on each side, it's going to rise up asymptotically if we treat this as a point charge. So there's two ways to look at this. The first way is as a function of 1 over r squared. But then we can also draw this with, uh, with vector arrows showing that the vectors are getting smaller and smaller as you go away. All right, that's all for this video. I just wanted to basically go over the qualitative ways to determine the strength of an electric field. In the next video, I'm going to talk to you about how to determine the direction of electric field. How do we determine it? All right, thanks for watching.